So let's talk about the anything is possible play. Why? Well, it's the offseason. It was a fun play. Let's just talk about it. Uh, one thing you're going to see is that on this play, it really looks like they're just kind of going through the motions. Like you see uh, Williams for Kansas City just kind of jogs over there, isn't putting too much effort into it. Uh, Chad Henney kind of just casually puts his hands up and stuff. So uh, they're not completely just pretending like they're not doing anything, but they are just kind of make trying to make it seem like maybe they're just trying to you know, draw Cleveland off sides and not actually go for it. Now, did that matter? I don't think so. I really don't. I think that this is would have happened anyways. Cleveland seemingly uh, is doing exactly what they would be doing if they thought for sure that this was this ball was going to get snapped. So, you know, worth a shot, but I don't think it mattered. The way this play is going to work is it's man coverage for Cleveland, and you see the concept. It's a good concept. I mean, for one thing, you're taking advantage of Tyreek Hill, and this is the interesting thing is... Typically, what you want to do in these moments is put the ball in the hands of your best player. And you can't do that here because, you know, your best player is currently sitting on the bench. Remember, this is Chad Henney. This is not Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes is currently hurt. So you have to put the ball in to somebody's hands. And they're still going to put their the ball in the hands of probably their best player. It's just the best player on the field, which is Tyreek Hill. You could argue Travis Kelsey, whatever. I'm not going to get into an argument. They're both amazing. But that's what they're going to do. It's just a simple pick play. And I think the thing that a lot of people said is, um, I can't believe Andy Reid had the confidence in Chad Henney to do that. Well, I think what really it came down to was he had the confidence in Tyreek Hill to get so open that Chad Henney would easily be able to make the play. And watch how he fakes in and then gets out to the outside where so quickly, you know, it's, it was kind of set up like a pick play. It wasn't really. It was just he trusts that Tyreek Hill can get open like that. And Hill actually, interestingly enough, ran backwards a little bit, but was still able to get over past the first down marker. Because, again, he knew if he makes the catch two yards away from the first down marker, uh, he's getting the first downs. And that's exactly what happened. If you look at the fourth down decision bot, which is, again, the best best Twitter account out there, fantastic stuff. It always says if it's the right decision or the wrong decision to go for it. This said it was actually a very strong decision. So while, you know, Andy Reid gets a lot of praise for this, and he should, what's interesting is that it was actually, you know, at least ana analytics-wise, it was an easy decision to make. But again, the reason why you get praise is given the fact that it's Chad Henney and not Patrick Mahomes and given the situation. And it does make sense, you know, because they were up five at this point. So Cleveland needs a touchdown either way. Punting the ball will push the ball back about like 40 yards or so, but at the same time, you would you would much rather just end the game right there. There's over a minute left. Cleveland does have a chance basically either way, not a huge chance either way, but they do have a better chance. No timeouts left, uh, and you know, actually, uh, to be clear, it was a minute and 42 seconds left. The time it says on there was after this play, so that's like 114. But yeah. Uh, with with that much time left, I mean, this is a it's it's a smart decision and it worked out, obviously, even if it didn't work out, though, it was the right call. So figured I'd just make a quick video breaking down one of the more fun plays of last year. Uh, and yeah, uh, again, it's off season content, finding stuff to hopefully be somewhat entertaining. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.